So we got some chicken noodle soup with diced potatoes added to it and some pink Himalayan salt and pepper and some hot sauce. It's delish. <laughs> she seems to be enjoying it. You're right, Boogie? <laughs> Waiting for more. My baby's asleep right now. I think she had a good meal. She decided to take a late afternoon nap about five o'clock. She hasn't really been napping the past few days. She's just been pushing all the way through like us adults. Such an independent little baby. Ugh, couldn't be happier with her. But I'm just taking this time to do some journaling and to do some meditation and also to respond to some comments. I got a little bit of hate which actually gave me a really good laugh. So I posted a short about that, so make sure to check that out. I think it's I think it's a good one. And yeah, I just wanted to update you guys a little bit. I'm not doing too much recording as I am with my daughter, and I give her all of my time. I don't really have too much time to record, but when I get a moment, I try to make sure that I can fill you guys in and let you know what is going on and um, show you how we're progressing. So as you can see, I'm under the hood now, and based on what I can tell, we're still rocking the original timing belt at 236, almost 237,000 miles. That's a long life for a belt to last. So props to Toyota for engineering something that lasts that long because typically it's around, I want to say 150,000 that they're supposed to be replaced just for good measure. So if the timing belt was to break, it could cause catastrophic failure, meaning no more engine, meaning new engine is necessary. So, I'm planning to replace that very soon here. I'll have to take off the motor mount, which connects in multiple places over here. I'll probably have to take the wheel off because the timing cover is two pieces and it goes all the way. I mean, you can't even see it behind the wheel, but it's two pieces. I mean, this is a V6, so it's pretty involved it's not something that I don't think I can handle I'm gonna get to finding these parts and getting them in my list and props to Toyota I mean this motor has its faults but a timing belt lasting just shy of 250,000 miles have you heard of that before I'm grateful you know it could be worse stuff could be way worse it's not got me upset or anything as you can see I'm still smiling we do our best around here to make light of every situation, no matter the struggle or the strain. So, um, the old girl still runs. She's still pushing. So, I guess there's a thumbnail right there. The way I'm thinking is if I want to be in this thing for an extended period of time, it only makes sense to do the maintenance, you know? So, with taking the timing cover off and all that, the water pump is right there. It doesn't look like the cover has been taken off at all. The bolts look like they've been there since Toyota put them on. So I'm pretty sure the timing or the water pump hasn't been replaced either. So I would want to do that as well. I also want to take the intake off to change. Well, I have to take the intake off to change the knock sensors. So when I take the intake off, I want to clean that. And to put it back on, there's multiple gaskets that I have to remove to get to it. And typically when you remove a gasket, you don't want to use the same one. Yeah, that's where we're at. So it's the next day. It was pretty rainy last night after that last clip. And as well as this morning, it's it was pouring and then it wasn't. And then it was sprinkling and then it wasn't. And then it was pouring again. And it's finally cleared up. That's Florida for you. It rains when it wants to. It'll rain and then it won't rain for weeks but we got a good amount of rain within the past 24 hours. So now that it's sunny and the ground is dry, which again, that's Florida, I'm taking a nice little walk. She took that long nap yesterday and then she slept, she slept through the night. So that was wonderful. I guess all those days of no naps caught up to her. So I wanted to get her outside and get her some fresh air and she's been exploring and climbing up and down on benches and things like that. 
So I just wanted to get her some fresh air. Well, today would be the perfect day to have a solar panel because we're getting all the sun. But in the future, it will come. So we're at the park right now. We're actually about to leave. And I just wanted to show you all. If you ever get a package from me, I'll come with a description of each crystal as well as instructions on how to clean. All handwritten by yours truly. So right now, we're chilling in here. I don't know if you can see that. You see it, Amethyst? This is like a tablet computer. It's a computer, but it's a tablet, but it has one of those fold out keyboard joints. So my sister just sent me a package and that was the main content. She also sent me a bunch of t-shirts, which I really appreciate because I've been rocking these tight ones, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Let's not put our shoes on the bed. I also got a new blanket today that came in the mail as well. Let me take this girl's shoes off. Okay, but um, she also sent some wonderful toys, like this pop it game. Every time you push on the back, it pops them all back out. Well, when you push accurately with both hands. But I remember seeing her play with this. It's like a great road trip game, especially for kids. And the baby loves it. She also sent her a little Elmo that she's been fascinated with. And now she's chewing a box because she just likes new things. But, yeah, so I guess the hunt for a computer is kind of over. I gotta see all what I can do with this thing because I'm very not familiar with this. But, big thank you to my sister. I don't do well with gifts. Especially expensive gifts. I, I, don't, I don't do well. I'm like, what is this? Like, what did you send me? So, and now she's tore a piece off the box. And now she's tearing more. That's my daughter for you. She will figure it out one way or another. Or the other. Yeah. But we're also having some soup. That This hot pot is freaking amazing. I can't speak highly enough of this. It, it warms up a can of soup to the point where it's too hot in like five minutes. If that. And that's on number one. I ha I've never even set it to number two. So who knows how fast it would do it on that. But this is perfect for van life. Definitely going to be more videos with me cooking things in here, actually cooking things, because, I mean, it's it's like a hot plate with a bowl around it, and it's non-stick. So I'm actually going to be cooking some stuff in here once we get a power station and get a little more situated. Update on that, I got a lead on some free wood, so taking this passenger seat out and getting something right there for me to have a surface and for me to have food storage as opposed to under the bed, which will give me more storage under the bed, likely coming within the next few days so praying to the most high god about that um really trying to put that in motion as best as possible and also the baby should be getting picked up tomorrow to be away from me for a few days what am i gonna do what am i gonna do so we had our soup we got this wonderful little camping light up just giving us a little light on the inside got my cardboard up curtain this blanket just stays here all the time like I don't need to see out of that window throughout the day so I just leave it there until I get the cover taken care of which should be in the next few days but yeah I got the fan on I got the fan on number one speed keeping it cool in here I think it was just me hot from eating the soup 
I don't think she's hot at all. She's just fine. But um, she's playing with this little toy. She's loving it. I'm just watching some watching some YouTube. And um, we're going to get ready to go to bed here pretty soon. But I mean, this is a lot more of what it'll be like, you know. And it just, I'm just kind of basking in this. It's a really nice feeling, you know, just to be, she's comfortable in here doing her own thing. I'm comfortable. I got my little place to sit. I can go all the way back like that if I want to. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's a really good feeling. Like I say, I really appreciate my sister for thinking of me. And she said she didn't need this. I mean, she's a tech person. She got the gadgets. But, um, uh, I really didn't. I, I thought it was just t-shirts. I knew she, she had asked me about some t-shirts that she didn't want. And, like, she wears big stuff. I mean, we're damn near the same size. But she wears big stuff anyway. So I'm like, yeah, if you don't want them. I'll take them from you. I'll take them off your hands. You know what I'm saying? And I thought that's all she was sending me. And she sent me toys and T-shirts and a fucking computer tablet. Three T's. Toys, T-shirts, tablets. So it doesn't get much better than that. And it's crazy because I was in talks with a guy today about trading a couple things that I have for a computer, for an all-in-one Mac. But I guess now I don't really need to worry about that so much, do I? And we, we we might get it anyways, just to have, you know, multiple options. Um, I, so you're going to skip my video all the way to the end, really? <laughs> One of the biggest sales oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn it off, because I'm not raising an iPad kid. Not, not over here. Uh... Yeah, so right now, I mean, I, I done taken everything out from under here and put it back. But if you see... Over there, there used to be one of these plastic pieces. I took that one out, so I'm working on getting this one out, but it's under this seat. So I basically gotta take the seat out. I'ma just pop it out and scoot it forward and get the piece out. I'll leave this one here because it's, I, don't, I mean, it's not really in my way. So, but I'm working on getting that out. Throw some trash. And reorganizing stuff that's under the bed just to maximize space. So that's just what I'm doing right now. So I got it out now. As you can see from the back, I can scoot the seat a lot more forward than I realized. And there's a lot of space right here now. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. At least for the time being. It brings the seat like right parallel with this part. So like I said, I think I'm going to leave it like that right now. I mean, I can always move it. But... It does also block my clothes bin, which when it's back, I can easily pull that out. We'll see. But now I'm going to get this out of here. Um, all that's doing is raising the bed up a little bit higher at the back, which is why this middle leg is just ever so slightly off the floor still. So I don't need that right there. I'm going to get it out of here and then get everything back in how it's supposed to be. I also reorganized this and got this on this seat instead of the seat up there. So, that's nice. Find your balance. I don't know if y'all can tell by the last couple clips, but baby got picked up yesterday <sighs> and um had a pretty pretty rough night last night I'm not gonna really get into details and stuff but I don't know my body just feels like physically sick I feel terrible so I just dropped the lady off at the mall about to go to Planet Fitness now, take a shower, and do some more organizing and stuff like that inside of here. I just don't feel great, man. I really don't feel great. I'm trying my best to just push through it and stay positive, but Feeling like this really takes my motivation away completely. 
I'm thinking of getting on more like a two videos a week schedule. So maybe like Wednesday and Sunday, something like that. Just let me know what you all think about that in the comments. If there's anything, any videos that you would like to see, you know, I've got a list of things, of, of video ideas that I want to produce. But I'd also like some feedback from my subscribers as far as what they would like to see. I also want to say a really big thank you to all the new subscribers who joined because of the universal energy and kindness vlog because that one is a little bit over 2,000 views and 150 likes and I couldn't be more appreciative of you all for tuning in and for providing so much positivity in the comments so I just want to say thanks again you know you all are really what's what what I do have to motivate me to stick with this and to do better you know I, I feel in my head as if if the channel would not have taken off in this way by now that I may not feel inclined to do these videos anymore just know that with your continued support I will continue to try to produce quality content for you all so with that being said I'm gonna end the video here and definitely keep an eye out for community posts where we can talk and engage more about what's to come on the Van Life Ken YouTube channel. Peace and love, everybody.